Hi, Ricky here from Tech Talk. Thanks very much for joining me. Very excited today to do a comparison or a versus video. So I have here on the left my iPhone 6S Plus, so the latest model from Apple against the HTC One A9. Massive thank you to Vodafone for sending me this one. And let's do a comparison. So first of all, you can see there's a little bit difference in size, a um, little bit difference in the way they look. But first of all, let's jump in and have a look around the actual devices. So starting off at the bottom, as always, if I just lift up my iPhone here and just lift up the HTC phone there, you can see, first of all, you're going to find a speaker grill on both phones, your 3.5 jack, you're going to find a lightning port for my charging on my iPhone, and you're going to find a USB 3 for charging on the HTC One A9 there. Moving around to the side, so you get to see the side profiles. So on the side here, you can see my SIM card tray, my sleep wake button or power button. You're going to see the sleep wake button and power button and the volume rockers. And you can see the antenna bars here. You can see both of them cameras there are just sticking out a little bit as well. Moving around to the top of the devices, you're not going to find anything on either. And moving around to the other side, so you're going to find your SIM card tray and your SD card tray. And you're going to find my volume rockers and my vibrate switch as well. So if I just turn it around to the back here, you can see them antenna bars here, that nice garnet burgundy color with my silver color here. You can see the cameras and the dual tone flashes for both the Apple logo. So let me go through some of the key specs then of these phones, first of all, for you. So they were both launched last year. The iPhone was in September. HTC was in November, so HTC is a little bit newer. Weight-wise, the iPhone's 190 grams versus 143 grams. Both 7.3 millimeters thick there, so the same in thickness. So my iPhone is running the iOS 9 software and the Android is running the latest Android 6, which is Marshmallow. Storage-wise, mine comes in a 16, 64 or 128 with no SD. The HTC comes in a 16 or a 32 and both can support an SD card up to 200 gigabytes, which is a phenomenal amount and will work out a lot cheaper than my iPhone. So the screen size is a 5.5 versus a 5, both the same resolutions of 1080 by 1920. The PPI, my phone is 401 versus the 441 on the HTC A9, so it's actually better. Cameras on the back, I've got 12 megapixel. The HTC has got a 13. On the front, I've got a four. The HTC has got a five. I'm running 4K video compared to 4HD, which is 1080p, the 30 frames per second on the HTC phone. RAM, I have two gigabytes in my iPhone. The HTC has three gigabytes for the 32 gigabyte model and two gigabytes for the 16 gigabyte model, so if you choose. And then power wise, this is running an OptiCore processor at 1.5 gigahertz, where I'm running a dual core 1.8 gigahertz A9 processor. So they both have nano SIM cards and both have fingerprint sensors. So let's test them out now. So if I just lock each phone, so if I open up these, three, two, one, there we go. We'll do one more test, just make it nice and fair. Three, two, one. HTC One is much faster compared to my iPhone One there. So there is no applications running and we're gonna do a good old fashioned boot test. So just get both of these ready here. So just slide in and hold in this one here. Three, two, one. Very quick there. I will put the winner along here so you can see. I can't actually see from here who actually won, but let's boot it back up now. So three, two, one. Very close to see there, but my iPhone was just slightly ahead there. I don't think it's very far actually behind. Okay, and our phone is up and running there for the HTC and my iPhone There we go. My iPhone is up and running. So very well compared actually, done really well. Wasn't too far behind if you think of the price difference as well, which is nice to see. 
So having a look around the phone, so if I double tap my home button here, I'm gonna get into my open applications. On the Android, you press the open, the menu button where you'd see your open applications. So just go back home on both. So pull down, I get my today view. If I pull down, I get my notification. But if you pull down even more, you get your widget drawer there, which is really good to see. And I wish Apple would really update this in the iOS 10, because all I have widget wise, so if I pull up here, that's all you're gonna see in my widgets, which is such a shame. So what I'm actually gonna do is just turn off airplane mode there and activate normal signal in my phone, as I wanna jump into the iTunes store versus the Google Play store and see which is quicker. So launching in three, two, one. So quite quick there. So if I go into movies here, and if I go into entertainment here, we've got the new one here. So three, two, one. Wow, a lot quicker on the Android, which is really nice to see. So going home in three, two, one. Very quick, very nice, very fluid movement on both phones. I actually found the HTC a little bit more quicker and fluid. If you slide far to the left, you're gonna get your Google information and HTC sense as well in there so moving on to another app open application let's try the camera for both of these so three two one very quick there very nice to see like i said the camera is a little bit better on the htc but video recording is better on my iphone so going back home here very quick and easy and that button's there that touch sensitive fingerprint sensor there on the htc is really well i really enjoyed that very quick very responsive as well it's good compared to the iPhone there. You don't actually have to put it in when you reboot your phone. It just works straight away. Of course, you can either set up a pin, password, or pattern to actually get it secure as well on the HTC, where the iPhone will only ask for a pin or a password pattern. It's not available. So let me know what you think. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give a thumbs up. Please check out Vodafone for the latest prices on the HTC One A9. And I'll see you in my next video. Thanks always for watching. Bye for now.